right so the next step is supplier acknowledgement and acceptance now assuming that this PO has been sent to supplier and supplier has accepted it let's proceed ahead you have already seen this process many times before in payables for beginners course so I'm skipping this step then comes supplier has already sent you an intimation for the receiving and then all you have to do it is prepare your warehouse and receive the shipment sent by the supplier so so let's go ahead and complete the receiving for the purchase order all right so go back to Oracle applications and now go to home and again it's the same super user but in real life you'll have a separate user for warehousing clerk or receiving folks that do the actual receiving of the shipments inspection acceptance and so on but in this case we are using the same user so anyway to go and do the receiving all you have to do it is go back to the purchasing vision operations responsibility scroll down to receiving and then you have to go to something called as the function receipts okay once you do that Oracle application forms will open all right looks like I need to launch it again let me launch it again okay we got it this time so now as you would recall the ship to organization we have given as Seattle manufacturing so the receiving must be done in the same organization from the supplier all right so it's M1 Seattle manufacturing hit the OK button and that leads you to this form for finding the shipments for the purchase order so let me give the PO number out here as what 6060 right that was the PO number hit the find button and then this is the receipt header go on to the receipt lines and that's where you will see all the lines that are waiting for you to be received all right so for this you need to check this checkbox and then give a location to receive it into so I give the same one as a location defined for Seattle manufacturing do the same thing for second line and third line to receive them into Seattle manufacturing all right so once you're done with that you can give optional information at the receipt header okay out here like a shipment number or a packing slip number sent by the supplier or any way bill number say enter a way bill number say something like this a big way bill number and so on all right any comments with the supplier so once you're done with all that simply hit the save button to save this receipt as you could see in the bottom the receipt has been saved and a receipt number has been generated so let's note down this receipt number all right so now that the receiving is done the next step is we need to create an invoice with obviously a set base settings for this purchase order which has been just received okay so in the next step I will go on to the tables and show you how to create an invoice and match it to the purchase order